Hi, welcome to our weekend reading for Saturday and Sunday, December 10th and 11th, 2016. Remember, it's a general reading, so see what feels right for you. See which sign symbols, bells, whistles, messages, energies resonate for you and bring you clarity to what you're wondering, concerned, confused, inquiring, dreaming, and praying about. We're all children of God. We're all psychic. We're not all going through the same thing at the same time at the same pace. So see what feels right for you. It could be one sign, and that brings you clarity. It could be the whole reading. It could make sense later. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest and greatest good of everybody. So we're all uplifted in love. See how it feels for you. How you ride these energetic waves that come through here is always up to you. Is it your wave? Is it not your wave? Are you waiting for another wave, preparing for that wave, crashing into the wave, riding the wave, or ignoring the wave? Also, feel free to make this an interactive video if you want to pull some cards for yourself. And if you have some time, try to check out the links below, the playlist, the music. See if there's personal messages and lyrics for you. Just enjoy the tunes. Thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys so much. It's a long reading today. So there was a lot of energy that comes that came through. I hope it resonates with you. I hope there are beautiful nuggets of wisdom to help you out this weekend. I love you so much. I'll see you in a moment for the reading. Hi, welcome to our weekend reading. So this is for Saturday and Sunday, December 10th and 11th, 2016. We're going to start with the Light Purpose Oracle cards today. And let's see what God, Source, Holy Spirit, our higher self, angels, and energies of love have for the highest, greatest good of all. Let's get some clarity, focus, and understanding into the energies coming through this weekend and wisdom to ride these energies best for all of us. All right, let's begin with one card for weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Creative expression. So your soul longs to express it itself creatively. So if this is the weekend when you can do something different, Put some time away. Um, do that thing that you've been thinking about for way too long. Do that thing that comes up as a spark of inspiration that you only thought about for a minute but had to move on. Um, it's doing that thing, your thing. Um, it's It doesn't even have to mean anything. It could be like I'm getting like active meditation. You know, it's just nice to do something where you're making something. Um, you're putting your heart into something. I, I'm getting that you're putting some time into something and um, maybe this is for somebody else as well. It could just be for yourself. Like you need some wall art in your new apartment. So rather than going and getting some print that you're spending too much money on, get you know, a nice coupon for a big ass canvas, 50% off, 75% off, paint all over something that was old that you had lying around. You don't have to spend any money. Use house paint and make something yourself. Find out that you're actually an artist. You can actually make a big circle and a square and some you know, I'm getting like you squiggling paint on top of that and it make it and all of a sudden it's beautiful. Choose the colors you like, you know, make something out of a stencil, something really simple. Do something with your handwriting, you know, take a quote that's inspiring to you and sketch it out on paper, you know, do something like write, practice your instrument. Turn on the music and dance around and see what happens. See if you clean that extra room in the house that you were ignoring because you're suddenly in a good mood. And you started, so you might as well finish. You know, it's like once you start, you're on a roll. Or once you start, you're going to be on that road to discovery. You're going to figure out something about yourself. You're going to tap into some solutions that you couldn't come up with another way. So this is asking you to take a little bit of time out to express you however you need to. This could be through words. Um, it could be actual communication. I'm getting actual like 
you and like reciting poems that you wrote. That's kind of cute. That's actually kind of cute. Maybe somebody asks you about something like in your poetry book or something and you never thought you'd read it aloud and somebody's really flattered that you'd open up with those, you know, those words, that moment, that expression, that heart break that time in you know seventh grade that you wrote this and you thought it was so dramatic and now you look at it and you're like oh wow but you work something out it's working something out in you so maybe you're bringing something back uh like a talent you had before that you haven't tried maybe in a long time maybe something that's i don't know i feel like you're inspired by something and you feel or you felt like it was too hard before and now you're just gonna try and I feel like once you try you realize you're pretty good you realize it wasn't that hard you realize that you should have done that before to have that solution come through you should have started you know earlier to know you should have bought that instrument instead of thinking about it you know it's like I'm getting even that it's a change it doesn't have to be the thing you're always doing it could be that weird thing like you know you play the violin but you never play the piano that's sitting in the other room maybe discovering something on the piano um creating a little tune you know something that's small that i don't i'm getting like i don't know like starts like chopsticks but maybe you can add your own twist on it so take something simple and make it like twisted with your own beautiful energy somehow now i'm seeing like candy canes um, so maybe you do something with candy or baking or something in the kitchen or you can make something beautiful like make something that people need like maybe you can make food beautiful like art I now see like that fancy like latte art thing that they do where they make an entire painting on your cup of coffee which is pretty amazing because it's like art it's Actually, in a way, it's more like a performance. I feel like part of Mannix is on my lip here. It's like part of a performance or like music. It's there in a moment and then it's gone. You know, you drink it up and it's gone. I hope you took a picture of it. I guess that's why pe people take pictures of their food like that because it's art. That's the way to preserve it. Maybe you're taking something like that and preserving that moment on something big. I just saw somebody sketching out like shadows or shadow work that was done on something like your fancy latte. Somehow transferring something that looked kind of simple, black and white, you know, two-toned, and making it beautiful or big or bold or easier than you thought or connected to a moment important for you. Um, it could just be that idea that you had when you were sipping on your latte that's important, you know, that, that, thing that was on the wall while you were waiting for your bagel, you know, in the store or in the restaurant and they had some artwork there and you're inspired by it. And maybe you're a musician and you're inspired by that. You need some cover art and that was it. You know, that, that rose or that, um, I don't know. I'm seeing like, I keep seeing but like bananas and pineapples for some reason. And that would be my sister's house, not mine. I have some roses and like cherry blossoms, flower of life, heart, weird art that I have. It does look like kind of like you just kind of threw a bunch of paint at it. And then I have some that looks like you threw a bunch of paint at it, but the more like closer you look, the more detail you find, you know, there's like phrases and stuff and something like that. So maybe there's art within what you do but in addition to it does that make sense so if you normally write poetry maybe you can take your words and slap it on canvas you know if you normally do photography maybe you can make that into an afghan <laughs> you know the twist somehow i hope that made sense that was kind of interesting from this card i'm even getting those interesting afghans now or like taking your photography and the stuff you have in your phone is pretty amazing these days i stopped doing like a lot of the selfies a couple years ago i found that i sort of got really into them like <laughs> back like a long time ago like i've like very beginning of facebook maybe even my space time and then when phones just started to get filters they were just having cameras um filters are totally different now i don't have any of those weird um, like animated things on my phone. I don't have anything extra other than what I need on my phone so I have enough room to make these videos. So, 
um, but I do know they exist and there's pretty amazing things so maybe you even make an app or you know you can do something like that that you can take your art or art and make that a filter or something that you can let out there that's sort of interesting if you're an artist that's a different way to present your stuff you know make it so that everyone has it all over their face <laughs> you know that's definitely a bold statement that's not just finding a little time you know aside this weekend to do your art but who knows what could come after how big it could go where that little piece of art could take you you know, my th th that totally just reminded me, I know I'm going on a tangent, so I hope this is helpful. My sister took a needlepoint that my grandma did that, you know, it says like, sit long, talk much, <laughs> or something like that. And it has like the little, um, it almost looks like the little roosters in there, and the, or the little hens from the, whatever. It, it's really cute, it looks very country. And my sister took that, cross stitch you know tapestry thing and I still have like Mannix fur on me there it is and she painted it she made it a painting and then she took a picture of her painting and she made that picture into a fabric so it's that like cross stitch thing that was probably you know somebody's like pattern at one point has now been not only that pattern in a cross stitching but now a painting and now fabric and a photograph <laughs> you know and who knows what it's going to become after it's the fabric it could be my new makeup case <laughs> after the holidays or a new skirt or some cushions or wallpaper paper or one you know section of that art could be blown up into something you put on the wall um, like the stick on things so this could also be like gifts inspiration you could make gifts for people like personal I get personalized gifts for people for special occasions and you do something personal maybe it starts with taking some time to do something personal for you it starts with an idea it starts with either that inspiration that's been itching to come out of you for way too long and it's just gonna have to come out already or it's something that's so inspirational right off the bat that you just got to go through with it. You just got to do it. You got to make it happen. You need a little time for you. Your soul just longs to create or to express itself create creatively. Sometimes this is just having emotions bottle in and you need to get it out on paper to process that shit. You know, process what you went through. You're over it. You know, it's done. It's over or perhaps you're in it. You know, sometimes when you're in it, just write, create, dance, get all that energy out in productive means, healthy means rather than not healthy means, rather than keeping it blocked in, keeping those emotions down, having bad feelings about emotions that you have that are healthy, that are bringing you through a situation to process whatever you're going through, to understand whatever you're going through, because it's, you know, all about learning about those emotions, working through the ebbs and the flows and allowing them to come in, processing the information as you go as you go through something so sometimes we go through something that get it gets bottled up or stagnant or we hit a long time and we don't express ourselves and it hasn't come out you know we haven't been inspired we have writer's block or something and then that spark comes and if you've been stagnant sometimes you know it takes a little oomph a little pat in the ass to go do it already don't think about it now now's the time to do it um so if someone suggests doing something with you, um, you know, you have somebody like my sister that pulls you next door and gives you a paintbrush, go along with it. Don't make excuses that you have some work to do and go back, have a good time, relax. It's that um, expression that's going to bring something out of you, you know, that's going to connect you to something that's going to make you discover, I'm getting discover something in you about you through your painting or help someone else discover something about you. You know? All right, let's move along. I'm going to get a card from the Fairy Tarot. Let's get clarity on creative, artistic expression, longing to express yourself somehow. You know? Energy that needs to come out. It's like it's energy tapping into the ethers, tapping into God, tapping into the universe. It's that moment when you're in 
the inspiration. When you're on stage in the moment and you're singing, you're involved in the music, you're dancing, you're playing a sport, you're catching the ball, you're making the target. You're in the moment. You're in that moment of the now. You're not before, you're not after. So it's being in that moment. However fast or slow that mo movement is, I mean, it might just be where time doesn't exist at all. I feel like it's more like that. So it could be where you, you know, you do something and you just look up and you see that five hours went by. You have no idea how. Or, you know, you're looking at the clock and wishing you had five more hours because you're so enjoying what you're doing. And, well... There we go. That's so beautiful. That's the Nine of Autumn. Usually this is the card that has the girl with the big bird. You know, like she's holding this big ass hawk. Like nothing. It's independence. It's feeling like you have it all going on within yourself. It's completion. Feeling complete and abundant in who you are. You know, in what you have to offer. In where you are now. In how far you've come. In how far you've grown and how much strength that you've discovered about yourself. This is also like living on your own. It's like the bachelor, bachelorette, or at least having some time to feel like you are a bachelor or bachelorette. You know, like you're good on your own. You're expressing yourself your way. You're not really trying to impress anyone unless you're too worried about your surroundings and you do it all only to impress everyone and I would feel like that would probably create a lot of pressure on your artistic expression if you were always worried about how everyone thought about your thing because in the end if it's art they're all gonna have their own unique connection to whatever they interpret your words or art to be that's how it goes so it's their own connection with their own personal story and life and thing that hits their spot that makes them connect to your art and interpret it their way that's meaningful to them so don't worry so much with this card about anyone else it's being really 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 good on your own feeling independent the only thing missing in this card is that connection with others you know it is feeling complete on your own but sometimes you have that lack of connection with others you're on your own a little bit too much and you do need to reach out to have a connection. But that real connection doesn't come until you're complete within yourself. So you're still completely turning around the situation no matter which way this comes through. Um, I hope that made sense. This is Nine of Autumn, so like Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Coins. It's rewarding yourself for all of your hard work being happily and successfully self-employed and cherishing your alone time. So your alone time starts with creative expression, I feel. I feel like when you're alone, you need to express yourself how you would express yourself without anyone looking, just by yourself, how you want to. And Maybe that is the connection later, you know, with others, with the connection with others. But this is just coming back to you, taking care of you, giving yourself a day off, resting, going to bed early, making a cup of tea, hanging out with your pets, taking care of your surroundings, doing your, like, your your daily, your the daily love of living, you know? You know, like, it's, it's, I hear lounging around. So, like, if you want to read a book, it's allowing yourself time to read a book. If you don't have that time around you, it's figuring out a way to move your schedule around or ask somebody for some help so you can have a little bit of alone time, you know, and, or maybe I just saw somebody, like, that was sort of weird. I saw somebody, like, having kids or like having to do something where there's energies, even if it's like a teacher or something like that and there's something you can do that, like the kids get really quiet <laughs> when they start to color or get creative. So maybe you're setting something up and giving like, you know, some beautiful alone time to the younger energies around you so you can get some beautiful alone time 
for yourself, like adult time. So this could be creating a beautiful independent space for the younger energies around you so they're not bothering you all the time. Or, um, I feel like there's curious younger energies around you. Um, so maybe you need alone time from them. Or maybe they're discovering something about themselves. Like you're an inspiration because you're doing something kind of independent on your own. You have a home business. There's somebody else looking at you wishing that they could, I don't know, start to just sort of tap into their own inner desires and hobbies and like gifts. I'm getting gifts. So, and there's so many grapes. These grapes are huge. So, or they're like olives even. So, this girl's playing like this crazy loot all by herself like big there's like big garlic here it's like she's a little fairy in a big garden so there's still big abundance around you there's big communication and um, like-minded individuals maybe other individuals who are also independent and creative and expressive and maybe there's a way that if this is you and you're normally like you do things on your own um, you could still be married and be very independent you know um, you could be a businessman or woman, work in a bank, work in a store, work in retail. Um, you could bring your creative flair into the unusual locations or into, like, I feel like you have a creative flair wherever you are. Or you could be, like, someone who stays at home and does a lot of stuff at home, out of your home. Um... Even something like going to other people's home, like something with home and making your space comfortable, making your office comfortable. So maybe you do something where you work independent, but you go to um, like office spaces or retail stores or something like that and you help with organization or you help get a business going. Maybe you do something where you get a store started. I know people that have done that where they work for a corporation and every time there's a new store opening in a new city, they are the one uh, that goes to that store, and even though they don't live there for that long, a few months or something like that, they sort of get it running. They not only have business savviness and experience, but they have a certain flair to work with new energies to make it independent on its own, to get it running and good on its own, so you can leave and it's still running good on its own. That's kind of what I'm getting, so either that information is coming to you, so you can figure out how to get something good and running on your own or you need to find that alone time for yourself so you can feel good and running on your own. You know, creative expression on your own, feeling good, just having you time. It could be just simple, you know, needing some space or you could be going some space new. I'm getting actual business. Like some people are either coming to your location and helping you out. Um... Maybe just maybe somebody who's like really independent who just has some good advice for you and your business, your job. So when you go back to your job, it's almost like things are running smoothly on their own without you having to be there so much. I'm getting you getting a situation or an environment or a relationship kind of running smoothly on its own. You know, like it's big and flourishing and abundant on its own. And all you have to do is like play the right tune, you know, play the strings um, find the harmony in those energies. That's what I'm getting. The Nine of Autumn's beautiful. That's really feeling like you're in harmony with your energies. So, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. So, if you don't feel like there's harmony right now, um, you know, maybe tune something up, you know, adjust the way you communicate with someone, adjust your schedule, adjust something in your environment so that Things flow better. Things are more in tune. Something in your schedule I'm getting, even. Um, or maybe just completion is found when you... Uh, I'm getting trying something new. Trying maybe playing a different song. You know, going somewhere different. Um, throwing something new into the mix. Um, I'm not sure where this is going, so let's get another card from the... What do I have? The Angel Tarot. The Angel Tarot for the weekend. And that's the three of earth. This just keeps coming back. This is the theme for the week. And this is good. So this is working well with others. Even if you've been on your own, 
there's something that you've figured out on your own that's connecting to others. Or there is somehow that you're connecting to others so they can feel good on doing things on their own. It goes both ways, you know? So three of earth is the power of creativity. It's getting creative. It's getting your hands in it and tapping into those inspirations and starting to make it happen, starting to do it, going with those ideas that feel right, you know, that feel like they're blossoming abundance into your world. Look at all, look at the horizon here. You know, it's like you can see something so big in the horizon, but you have to feel your surroundings here. You have to work with different energies. You know, some people have their big butterfly wings on and they're transforming a situation. Other people see a situation different. So this, I'm getting different. At, this three keeps coming up. The power of creativity, recognition for very, 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 apparently, this is four times this has come up, high quality work, and being a team player. So you're learning how to work with others, how to ask for what you want so you can have some time by yourself, or how to say no to something so you can work with others, you know? This is finding that balance, finding the way to get the ball rolling, to get the juices flowing, to, you know, your squeaky wheel, you make something happen, oil it up and get it running smoothly, speak up so something finally happens. Go get those supplies so you start doing it. Maybe you've been thinking about this all week and now is the time where you get the moment to do it. Whatever it is for you, whatever creative expression, that thing you want to make, it could be a craft, it could be a gift, it could be um, a performance, it could be a presentation, it could be just sleeping, you know, sleeping and then waking up and feeling fresh so when you go to work you have more energy again and you get the ball rolling. It's... I feel like sometimes ideas come with rest. So, you know, you don't want to go, I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of like relaxing in these cards, tapping into nature, tapping into your envi environment, making your environment beautiful, reaching out to others, talking to others. Um, you know, even like, it just made me think of going, like my sister, my I'm getting a lot of painting and my sister apparently, she offered to make some art for a friend's house. So. Maybe you're doing something for a friend or helping out a friend um, with something that you do by yourself normally, you know? Or maybe you're normally always with other people and now it's time to do it by yourself and see how it would be if you did it on your own. You know, taking some work home and doing it a different way but not making it work. I feel like this isn't work. If it's work, it's because it's something that you're naturally gifted at and you do because you love. I don't feel like this feels like work. This feels like non-work, non-time to me. So let's go to the romance, the romance angels, oracle cards. I'm not going to go on a tangent on that three of pentacles because it just keeps coming up. So I feel like it's just telling us that we're on the right path. We're working well with others. We're understanding that other people have their own personalities and gifts and talents and it's working with all of those energies and allowing everyone to have freedom to discover their own path, their own talents, you know, their own bumps in the roads and their own ways to fix that bump, you know, fix that uh, problem, fix that stumbling block, come up with a solution. Um, it's you helping others, but uh, I feel like there's like brainstorming. Like if you don't have a solution and you don't find it by going here, it's going to come through, you know, by helpful means with somebody else that can like notice what you're doing and kind of just say oh just change that or that's you just looking at something that somebody else had a hard time with and saying oh just move that over there and you're good you know um all right so let's get a card for the weekend from the romance angels oracle cards and that's it is safe for you to love so if you were holding something back, if you were bottling something in, if you were afraid to express something, if you were afraid to ask that person out, afraid to, I don't know, get on board something or get off your high horse or take another chance, see eye to eye level with somebody, you know, have a conversation. Maybe you were hurt in the past. You went through a lot. You've been working a lot. You know, you need to have a little you time. Before you make this decision, maybe this is just you time before you go through with this. Or maybe it's because of this you time that this finds you. So if this finds you because of your creative expression, because finally you spoke up, finally you said no, 
Finally you got out of the house. Finally you stayed home. You know, this is opening your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. That's love. That's just love. If it comes from love, you're okay. You are safe. You're okay. You're going to figure it out. You'll be all right. You know, you'll get through it. It's all for a beautiful, divine reason coming together. You're going to understand it. You know, you're going to know that those shitty times you went through, those hard relationships, those assholes you met, you know how to deal with now and you can handle that situation with love or avoid it altogether. You know it's not good for you now that you know what it's like. And now when the right things come through, you have appreciation for it. You nurture it. You hold it. You take that opportunity. You take that chance because it's here. So don't have fear. Don't push something away. You know, maybe this is somebody coming through with big opinions that aren't yours and you're used to doing things your way. Open up a little bit and see what happens when a little sugar, a little spice, a little inspiration from someone else comes through. See if it maybe sparks even more passions in you. It could make you just want to run and get the bigger canvas now. You know? So open up to the bigger canvas. You know, the bigger expression than you had before and see where it takes you. See who comes by for a ride or wants you to get on board or wants to talk about something, you know, just wants to see where you're coming from and how they have such a p special connection with your particular energy, story, situation, connection, emotion, you know, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. That's just connecting to your higher self, connecting to God, you know, having your angels and your spirit guides bring beautiful inspirations that are meant for you in and you hear them and you act upon them and they it's like energy that goes through you but it has to circulate into your specific beautiful energetic spiritual and physical field you know in order for it to become real to come through it's your expression it's coming through your hand your words your eyes that makes it special all right, so let's, all right, Maddox, let's go to the, I have the Crystallis Tarot. It's been a while since I've used this particular deck. So let's pull one card for clarity on it. safe for you to love, to open your heart, to not be closed off on something if something special comes in this weekend. Conversation, expression, clarity communication. Um, let's get one card. Clarity on the three of pentacles, the nine of pentacles, the nine of autumn, or the three of earth. Uh, that's also threes. We keep getting threes. You know, three, 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 maybe something times three because that equals nine. And that brings you to completion. Um, feeling complete feeling abundant in your expression of your surroundings, you know, your living environment. And that's the six of scrolls. That's really nice. So that's you moving to smoother waters. It's definitely safe. You're definitely over the storms. You're through, you know, the thick, dark, scary forest and you're on your way to smoother waters. This is feeling clear now about the shit you went through. Like, it kind of makes sense. You sort of see it on a better light. Um, like a, a, a wiser, with a wiser heart, a more open heart, a more empathetic art, art, maybe it's art, and ear. Um, there's a wisdom here. You remember what you went through. You're not forgetting it, but it's just brought you stronger. It's brought you more love. It's brought you more expression. It's brought you more understanding of who you are. You know? This is also finding peace, um, finding solitude, um, being open to changes. You have to be adaptable with the storm to get your way through it. This is learning to navigate your boat, learning to navigate your own ship, your own, you know, your own path and feeling clear about what you're doing, why you're doing it. Um, this is allowing yourself a new cycle of learning. So whatever you were through before, allow yourself to 
creatively express what it was because I feel like that's clearing the slate um, almost like like sealing up what you went through into like a book you know into a story so it's a moment it's a, an expression but it's healing it's a healing moment rather than an open wound um, this is also harmony this is uh, I have I, I went nerd on these cards these this was one of my decks I went nerd on what did I write here I wrote only a little more work remaining to do um, and it's removing obstacles and uh, distractions harmony a new cycle of learning so you have to be adaptable to changes that come through on your new journey you know there could be new things you have to learn you have to redo you have to retry but you're coming through with a deeper wisdom so it's going to be easier goings this time around this time through this new path this new direction sometimes this is short distance trips too so you could be going somewhere to find this inspiration this you know scenery this landscape this communication this chance to open up it could be staying at home I, I'm getting like a short distance trip visiting somebody um, connecting with somebody that you were thinking about for a while maybe somebody from the past or maybe somebody like not from the past at all you're leaving that behind being wise and going somewhere totally different somewhere you've never been before usually I get water so I want to say like across the river you know like across across the ways across the pond I'm getting that so it might not be far it might just be across a body of water I'm getting specific water with that even though it's like a a lavender violet jungle like at nighttime it's like a like a spiritual jungle maybe I just thought of concrete jungle by Xiao I think I'd, I may say her name a little weird but I really like her maybe I'll put that below um, gungry, gungry jungle. yeah I just I hear that when I look at this so let's end this reading with the Oracle uh, Visions by Sierra Machete for the weekend this is a really nice reading it's really nice you're finding some you time you're going to smoother waters um, coming up with solutions feeling safe all of a sudden I feel like before you weren't feeling so safe or someone else around you didn't feel really safe and now they're coming through they're coming towards you you're coming out of something you're feeling good about it now it's like a, a nice transition smooth is what I'm getting Let's end with one card well that's I would say illusions you know, getting lost in the trick. Um, be careful. I would I would say have discernment, you know, in your situation. So you don't get trapped in the same things that happened in the past. Trust yourself that it is safe and that you are going to catch anything that comes through that seems like it is paving a false light. So 25 brings you to 7. It brings you to spiritual truth. So it's tapping into your own discernment on a situation and trusting yourself that you can get out of a situation that doesn't feel right. And you're going to be, you're going to have more wisdom now to know what's real, to know what's not an illusion, to have an actual experience so it's not all in, I don't know, I'm even getting like actual good illusions, like a magic show, like a performance, like taking something that seemed like it was just in your energetic field of what you could see but you're making it happen and taking it out of that energetic field so I feel like this goes two ways it could be being tricked and you know making sure that you're on you're in you know you're on your instincts are on so you're not in delusion or illusion or taken advantage of but I feel like you're on target you're not going to be you know not everybody that claims to have peace really acts peacefully not uh, you know it just makes me think of I mean it, it makes me think of something really big like more people have died in this earth in the name of God than anything else and the one thing that every religion like says is to love one another it's just love it's about love it's not killing it's not being right or being better it's not death it's not fear it's love 
So, you know, so actions, not words, perhaps, or see where somebody is coming from. Maybe they come from somewhere where they don't know any better, you know, and you're busting the illusion in that situation and showing them the truth in something. You're hearing real symbols and signs and stuff to come through here. So let's see what this is. I know it's come up once, I think, and um, I think it came up in one of the independent astrological signs for one of the weeklies, but I can't remember now. 25 is misleading illusion and confusion. Don't be misled by what you see around you or be influenced by what you see. You live in a world which is a playground of illusion. False paths, false values, false ideals. But you are not a part of that world. See Baba. What we experience and how we interact is often indirect and from a distance. Physical interaction that would normally have provided all of our senses an opportunity. So if that's this and you've been alone for a long time because of you know, rough terrain and going through something and now you're, you know, expressing yourself, you're finding this independence in yourself, make sure you reach out to others, you know, don't be so independent that you don't have an actual connection with others. So, you know, you don't live in real relationships. I feel like you have to actually reach out and talk to people to gather this inspiration and see maybe not how they think of you, but how they feel. Like just exchanging feelings and emotions so you see you're dealing with a real person I'm saying rather than like I'm getting like an operator again you know like that's a real person on the other end you know like even if it if you're I'm getting like celebrity all of a sudden like that's a person you know maybe you only see somebody because they're on screen or they're on stage or you hear their music but that's a real live person with real life situations that you may or may not understand. Just like somebody who comes from, I don't know where this is coming from. Somebody who might come from a totally different country or different environment completely has a totally different background that you might or might not understand. That created their own way of perceiving their own situation. So maybe it's reaching out beyond what we normally think a place is from maybe reading in a book or seeing it on a screen and maybe going there and reaching out and experiencing that. So it's not in an illusion. So we actually feel it. We feel that environment and we're there. So we know it feels like this to us, you know, not that we're talking about something we don't know. You know, if you were never in that person's shoes, you don't know what it's like. You know, it just made me think of like someone like Harrison Ford living in the middle of nowhere so no one follows them. Or even if you're in New York City and you're someone who people recognize, it's easier to blend in and to look normal, you know, when everyone's maybe not there waiting for your picture. Or you can go out, you know, I feel like New York's a little different. I don't know where this is coming from because I feel like you could kind of go out in a big bird costume and people are just going to be like, oh, they had a rough day at work. Where they're going doing that. Like people really don't pay attention. Everyone has their own place to do, but they do. They're also very considerate and kind and polite if you just step in and kind of, hi, do you know where this is? So maybe it's a big city, like maybe New York is specific. Maybe you thought a city is something until you move there. And once you're in the city, you realize it's a real city and real people and it's real circumstances. And it's not like the movies. Maybe it's LA. Maybe it's Taiwan. You know, maybe it's Australia. Maybe it's Seattle. Maybe it's... Yeah, um, yeah, I'm getting like Las Vegas or someplace by the beach, like an island. And when you get there, it's different when you're actually in the experience from the illusion of what you thought it was by word of mouth or that person that you know, or, you know, what you always perceived it to be. Maybe when you're actually in those shoes in that place, it's different. So maybe it takes having that experience, reaching out, talking to that person, seeing what they've been through, someone understanding what you've been through. So they're not an illusion to understand where you're coming from. Maybe it's just opening up. I got sidetracked with that one. Where was I? Um, yeah, so let's see. Physical interaction that would normally have provided all the senses an opportunity for feedback and assessment is now increasingly being replaced by virtual alternatives. From email and texting to social network networking, our relationships are becoming 
increasingly defined by virtual interaction that can distort and substitute reality. When you text each other all the time, you forget what it's like to hear your voice. To hear the inflections in someone's voice so you can understand what they need, they really mean and not be misunderstood. So you can learn someone's inflections and humor and sarcasm, you know, where someone's coming from. Um, we go about quantifying people and events is now increasingly based on new paradigms that can provide a false perception perspective, both for viewed and viewer alike. You know, it's even like this channel. You can see me here every day and not understand that maybe sometimes before I film this video, I have a shitty moment. Like yesterday, I really, really, really missed my dog, Kitty. I really missed her yesterday, all out of nowhere for a moment. And not this, I love her, I do miss my dog. My dog's name is Kitty. I do kidnap slash take care of my parents and friends, ancestors, dogs to make sure I have my, <laughs> my beautiful dog energy. But you know, if you see me here every day and I look chipper and like I'm in a good mood and I'm helping, Sometimes I have really hard days. You know, I've had really hard periods in my life to get me where I am right now. So I'm just grateful to be here connecting to all of you. But, you know, it's opening up slowly. You know, we can't give everything about ourselves to everyone all the time. But we can open up slowly on certain things and hope that they make an impact somewhere in someone's life. In their real life. As a real person. You know, touching somebody for real even if it's through this camera, you know, through a lens. Just sometimes we have to remember to turn this off, turn off our phones, even if we pick up the phone so we hear someone's voice or see it on video. I guess we could do that now, but maybe it's actually getting in our car, you know, going somewhere and having a visit with somebody that we know, going across the pond this weekend, having some alone time so you can bust some illusions, Come up with some solutions. Make some real good connections. I feel like you're already on the right path. You know, you're making a lot of beauty, beauty in your environment. Maybe it's just that connection. Maybe that connection is through the art. Maybe it's that connection in alone time in you. Or maybe it's that connection in you that's busting the illusion somewhere out there. Maybe for the world. You know? Maybe there's some truth coming out that you can help us all learn about that only you have that connection to and know what none of us would know about otherwise so all right guys i hope this was helpful this was a long reading for the weekend i love you guys so much thank you for being here i'll see you soon god bless you all i love you so much bye